Alan. Look at everybody. I know, it's exciting. Um, Adnan or, or Julie, could you take attendance while this is while I'm, or maybe Adnan could do that because Julie it. and I are going to be sharing the talking. Thank right. you. Okay, bye. Love you, mom. Okay, bye. Love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I don't know why my, well, I'm trying to get my PowerPoint to. Oh. Uh, they have enough pages to put 40 pages in the grand book sentence. Oh, wow. That's pretty intense. Oh, it's on the back. Okay, Mom. Okay. okay. <laughs> They're all sorry. Let's see. Uh, Check in there. I'm in. Yeah. It's easy to cover. Dave does it all the time, and I watched him. He just he punches the holes, and we got the tool to punch the holes. Okay. So we're still a little, we're still ahead of time. So a few more minutes. Maybe start a little bit after 6.30 just for folks who might still be trying to get on. And if you didn't update your Zoom in any time recently, you have to run a little update, so. Yep. Hello. Hello. Just making sure you can hear me. We can. I know we're learning so much, aren't we, about all this new stuff and technology and everything. Does my sister have to join? No, William, she does not. Oh, okay. As much as we'd love to see her if she felt like it. Lori was, or Lori, Julie, was yes. uh, Rachel going to be able to join us? Yeah, I just got off the phone with her. She's coming. Okay, sorry. Yep. There's Bailey. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. Hanging yeah. in there. I know. So interesting. Oh my gosh, I see Michael Knapp, Selena, Kimberly, Kylie, Kaylee, Kiara, Kimberly. So exciting. It is exciting. Matthew Rack, Abby Lindhart. Oh, there's Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Well, can't say hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hello. at least I see more than just your forehead or your ceiling fan or whatever you got on your ceiling. That's the normal view Julie gets. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of faces. Nice to see faces. No, it is. <laughs> All right. Hi, Dean. We'll give everyone about one more minute, so we'll get started at 633. Hey, Jen, could you possibly not share the screen so I can mark down everybody? Of course. Thank you. How's that? Better. All right. There's two pages, though, just so you know, Adnan. Yeah. 
gone to a lot of people. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your dinner, Brianna. Yes. We're glad we can be your entertainment during dinner. Hi, Ariella. You can talk. You can go here. You can ask a little chat. And you can type to everybody in there. Okay. There's Rachel. Sorry, connectivity issues. Oh, yeah, I know how that is. I know. Something's going up in Orwell, going on up in Orwell Benson area with OTT. Something's going on up there. Oh. It's been going on and off all day, so I was just kind of waiting for it to do, and of course it happened at 6.30. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Oh, there's Kerrigan. Hi, Kerrigan. I see your face, Kerrigan, not your forehead. Hi. <laughs> all right. All right, well, it's 6.33, so um, we're going to get started. Um, so and I'm going to I'm going to share my screen at screen my screen my screen in a second here. You, you keep writing you should, that. Adnan, you still should be able to scroll through the names using the arrows to go up and down. Okay. Yeah. So welcome everybody um, to this is the up or down summer orientation for summer 2020. So um, just going to ask everyone to mute yourself if you're not talking. So I'll give you a second to find the mute. Um, and that'll help with background noise and, um, um, you know, just making us sound clearer. Uh, there will be um, times when we'll ask if anyone has questions and then you can unmute. Um, you can also um, check out the chat, um, which I know some people have already because uh, Riella's had Chinese food, lucky you. Um, you can... Um, you know, certainly uh, raise your hand if you have a question. There's a little raise your hand um, should be down at the bottom where you can uh, let me know that you have a question. Uh, you can put something in the chat uh, and then or you could just wait till question time. So we're going to get started. I'm going to share my screen now, Adnan. All right. Just take a second here. So we have a little PowerPoint to show everybody. So this is where we are. So we're having our students and parents summer orientation. Students and parent, at least one parent, need to be here. If your parent can't be here and you're here, um, this is being recorded and we will share it on our YouTube uh, channel and send a link out students so that you can share it with your parents to make sure they watch it and then there's, there'll be a little quiz um, that they'll have to answer to show that they did watch it. So let's get started. Here's our goals. Um, we hope to explain as much as we can about what's gonna happen this summer and try to, all the things that we're doing to try to create a climate for, 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 for some strong academics, for fun and for safety as well. Um, we're gonna go through myths and facts so you'll have a chance to um, win some prizes and Rachel's gonna be in charge of um, how that goes whenever we come to one of those slides, and then we'll answer your questions, hopefully. Oops, I didn't want to do that. This is what I want to do. Hmm. It's not, oh, there we go. I missed the slide. Nope, those are our goals. So we have hired mentors. Um, we don't have any returning mentors. Um, we have, and they're not on the call today, but we did meet with them, um, I think that was yesterday. Everybody's really excited. So um, Sammy uh, just graduated from college. Um, let's see who else just graduated from college. Calvin. Um, the last two on the list, Riley and Calvin, are Upward Bound alum. So they have been through Upward Bound um, here at Castleton. So um, they're very familiar with what we do. And as I said, um, Calvin just graduated and got accepted to graduate school, which is really exciting. He'll be heading to graduate school in the fall. Um, we also hired some peer mentors. So these are students who are going into senior year. They went through an application process. They were interviewed. We had um, we did reference checks for them, and we chose um, Isabella, Montana, Sayo, Abby Linhart, Gabe, and Dylan, so yay for them. Um, they are going to be assisting with our um, 
planning the summer, things that we do, they're gonna assist mentors, um, and they get to earn another $150 on top of the money that everyone gets to earn this summer as well. So if you're, um, you know, thinking about doing this next year, we plan to do it again next year, you'll have an opportunity to apply to do that. Okay. Um, communication this summer is key. It's always key to everything we do, but things can change on a dime. As you all know, you guys have been living change um, through, through lots and lots and lots of change. So we will always communicate with you, you know, everything that we know as soon as we know it. Um, but we really also need students and parents to communicate any questions, problems, concerns. Um, it's never helpful to find out about something after the summer program. Oh, this happened all summer long. You didn't take care of it. If I don't know about it, if Julie doesn't know about it, we can't take care of it and help you and, and change things. So please let us know if there's any questions or concern. So drum roll, please. Um, we made the decision um, in the last 48 hours to run an online summer program. We really, Julie and I really worked hard to try to meet the governor's um, regulations, meet the Agency of Education's um, in Vermont regulations to make summer work. One of the big problems was um, making things happen for our New York students because um, there are a lot of restrictions still about crossing the border. Um, and um, we, so a lot, lot of things happen, went into that decision. Um, there was going to be a lot of self, um, self-policing i guess and for a better word of you know not being close to each other limiting how many people can be in a room making sure everyone had masks making sure everybody was not only um you know doing the regular hygiene that you need to in a residential program but washing your hands constantly constantly using hand sanitizer, constantly cleaning up space before you get in you know desks before you sit down after you get up um, there was going to be a lot of responsibility on our students our, and our staff, and we just felt it was going to be too stressful on everyone to meet those standards and what would happen if, you know, somebody couldn't meet those standards or forgot and, you know, forgot, oh, that's right, I'm not supposed to hug my friend. Um, because hugging happens at Upper Bound, um, you know, so, so anyway. Those were some of the reasons we decided. We also have a lot of students and some staff who are immunocompromised have um, chronic health issues and being on campus for them could be dangerous. Um, so that was another reason. So we are gonna run things online. We're gonna go through the whole thing today of what, where to find your information students and what you need to be doing and how you can earn money still this um, summer and hopefully um, build in some virtual fun. All right, let's see. Here we go. So there is um, a week of orientation that's going to happen. So June twenty second through June twenty sixth, students, you will get um, a, a notification of what things you need to be doing. But it's really going to be informational to get you ready for the next um, four weeks. Classes don't officially begin till the next week. So you don't have academic classes this first week. We're gonna get you kind of make sure that you can get into your online classroom, make sure that you understand how to navigate classrooms. Some teachers are using Google, some teachers are using Canvas, which is the um, Castleton University um, classroom. Um, There'll be some workshops. You're gonna learn about virtual job shadow. You're gonna learn about our book reading we're gonna do this summer. And you can um, earn $75 um, if you are participating and do in attending um, and um, doing the things you need to do that week. So that's the first week. The next four weeks are your classes. They will be taught online. They are going to be taught uh, you probably now all this know this term asynchronously, which means you don't have to be in front of a computer at a certain day or time. Um, you're going to be able to access your classroom and your assignments and your um, instruction on your own time. So why we will give you, Rachel's working on a lovely schedule. Rachel's wonderful at color coding schedules and making them look great and easy to follow. We will provide that. Um, you can still um, 
you know, access your classes when it works for you. Um, you just have to be participating and turning in the assignments when they're due. There will still be due dates uh, um, and, um, you know, doing whatever it is that the teachers are asking you. Um, you're also going to learn about Trello. We're going to do some work on Trello. Um, you're going to be doing some virtual job shadow. There will be some uh, career roundtables. Julie has been arranging some uh, roundtables uh, with professionals. Uh, we, she will have a, we will have a medical roundtable. We will have a STEM roundtable and we will have a um, humanities roundtable where you will get to listen to some professionals um, in those fields, how, you know, where they went to college, what their job entails, what, you know, what they like about their job, what maybe what they don't like so much about their job. So there'll be three of those that you'll need to attend. Um, those, uh, again, if your student can't attend, those, those kinds of things will be videotaped and recorded and a link will be posted and your student can go back, watch it, take a quiz to prove that they were there. Um, we're also going to have our mentors mentoring. So our mentors are going to have times during the week where you can pop into Zoom, check in, ask for help, say, I'm getting lost in math. I'm not sure what to do. And they're going to help you with, you know, help you figure out resources on um, what you need to do to um, get some extra help. We are also working with Sodexo on campus to provide food delivery a couple times a week um, to the nine different high schools that we participate um, there we'll talk about it a little later in the presentation there will be a survey where you can opt in to food delivery if your student will need summer food as well this summer um, and then the last week of our um, program is usually a trip um, obviously you know, we can't go to New York City this summer um, we have um, asked all the places where we had reservations and place deposits um, if we could do the same thing next year and we most places were able to book me for 2021 so our plans are to do our New York City trip in 2021 um, and um, just pick up there where we left off uh, so instead many colleges have virtual college tours on their websites uh, we'll talk more about this when it gets uh, during during orientation week and at the start of the cultural week. But basically, students, you're going to get um, an online form to complete and go take um, at least three virtual college tours. Some colleges have actual videotapes that you can watch of people walking around their campus and showing you around. Um, some don't. You may be doing a little research online to complete those. Um, so this is the participation survey. This is the the link. We will I will send this out after um, today um, on remind um, to all uh, parents. Um, so if you're not on remind, we're going to show you how to get on remind in the few slides, and um, that'll help us know if your um, student needs food, um, if you have any internet problems, because we have purchased some portable Wi-Fi's. Um, that you can have. Um, you would just need to pay the monthly fee on it. Some of them go anywhere from $20 to $90 a month, depending on how much data you need. Um, but we have purchased the devices. They're like $200 devices, and we have a handful of them for anybody um, who it mentions in the survey that they need. One. All right. A big component, so number one is your classes, students. That's your number one priority. Your number two priority, so we can pay you um, $300 in July and $300 in August, um, is to make sure you're doing the work study components. So there'll be some components that you'd complete in June, July, and August. They are on Google Classroom, and there are, in a few slides I'll share with you guys the code for those Google Classrooms. You may want to screenshot that or write it down. Um, you'll learn about virtual job shadow, the roundtables we talked about. That's kind of composed, that makes up your work study. So here's parents. Um, if you're not on Remind, um, these are, there's two ways to do it. I don't know how clear that is for you. Um, hopefully you can see it, but um, if you have a smartphone, you can just text to the number 81010 at UB forever. 
uh, parents and you'll be signed up. If you don't have a smartphone or if you want um, to use an email, um, if you let me or Julie know that by email, we can forward you the instructions that you can actually see because that's not very legible on here. But really important parents to be on Remind. Your students should all also be on their own Reminds based on their cohort. All right. I think I'm going to stop sharing for a second um, because I see, I see some chats. Um, I've been answering all the chats and taking care of them. Okay, thank you, Julie. I was you're welcome. Things flashing, so I wasn't sure. All right, well, we'll go back. It's probably going to try to start from the beginning. No, nope, maybe not. So, here are the Google Classrooms. So, parents, you should also join not only Remind but Google Classroom. Um, and that's the code. So go ahead and take your, you know, if you want to take a picture of it um, or write it down. Students, you need to be on three classrooms this summer. Everyone has to be on student online resources. Everyone has to be on work study. The other classrooms are based on your cohort year. So you would uh, choose what year you're going to graduate from high school and you would use that code. So when we have to send a message to like everybody or we have an assignment for everybody, we're going to use the online resources. Um, if we want to communicate or have an assignment about the work study, we're going to use the work study. And then if we just want to talk to your cohort, we're going to use that. Your class, your teachers for your classes may also have Google Classrooms for you to join as well. So there's going to be a lot of Google Classroom one as one teacher is using canvas but i think everybody else is using google classroom um so really important guys to be checking your email because i am going to be sharing your c-u-u-b at gmails with all the faculty and that is how they're going to sign you up for their classes all right summer classes four weeks long deadlines we talked about don't tune out just because you're at home we are still going to uh, have teachers um, nominate outstanding students um, this year every week and we'll send you a little prize if you're an outstanding student and we'll put you out on Facebook so parents check out our Facebook page because maybe your student will be featured. Anyone taking a summer college course? These are for credit. You were, you were signed up through um, your dual enrollment or you're going to receive a check in the mail. Right, Julie? You want to confirm the check situation for New Yorkers? So say that again. The New York students with the college courses, they're, are they going to get a check in the mail? Yes, after I get the check. So oh, you're going to get it first. I get the check first. This, by <laughs> the way, tomorrow, I'll be able to go to the mail room and get those because they were written on Wednesday. So I'm assuming mm -hmm. Gilead to Castleton will be tomorrow. I will get them, put them in an envelope with instructions and a stamped return address envelope for you to send it back to me. So you'll get the call. That's just New York students. Your Vermont students, you were using your Vermont voucher and you should have completed paperwork for that already. Um, college students, um, college courses, again, those are all going to be on Canvas. So you need to use your username and password for Castleton University. If you don't remember your username or password, you need to email me or Julie right away so we can help you recover your account information. Um, your, your professors will also be using your Castleton University email to talk to you. So it's really important um, if you don't know how to access your Castleton University email that you let us know that as well. All right, so class participation is really important. Um, we still expect you, even though we're in an online version, um, to, um, to act pr appropriately, positively online, um, and to represent Upward Bound um, just as if you were on campus. Um, if you don't participate, you won't get your uh, stipend because we still plan to pay you. Um, your each teacher is going to set up those participation guidelines. 
So that's another reason why you guys need to be really aware of what your teacher is communicating to you about their expectations, right? And I think you guys have learned this during this time period that even though your teachers are all doing things with you online, they each have very different expectations about when you do your work, when it's due, how you communicate with them. So again, it's that little bit of a learning curve of really learning about, remember, each of you are gonna have three classes that are UB classes. So there's three teachers that you're gonna need to communicate with. Unless you're doing a college course and then it's just yeah. class. Right, but UB courses, or there's three that you guys will be taking that you need. So just kind of keep that in mind that you kind of need to be aware that each teacher is different in doing that, so. Julie, is this your turn now to take over from here? It is. All right, there you go. Stipends, my favorite conversation. So stipends, which you guys all now know means you get paid. Stipends will be paid on a one month delay by check or direct deposit. Checks take longer than direct deposit. Contact me for direct deposit. So I would send you a form over, the, over email that you would either need to print or figure out how to fill online and then send back to me. And if you need me to send, anyways, just communicate with me because I can get you one and that will make everything really go quickly. Because the day they write the checks, the next day it's in the bank. But if you get a check, the day they write the check, you're not getting your check till the following week, okay? So to do that, so June, I can't request till July. July, I can't request till August. August, I can't request till the end of August. So that kind of gives you a time frame of when you'll be paid, all right? Yeah, so the first orientation week, I'll put those requests in right away in early July. The June one, I'll do it. It'll be, you'll end up getting the paid kind of mid to late August. And then for the July and then August, you'll get paid early September at the latest. Yep. All right. So myth or facts is kind of hard with this many people to try to win a prize. All right. So if you know the answer, just unmute yourself and say, but students will receive a cash stipend each week. Myth or fact? Myth. You're right. It is a myth this year. In previous years, it's been a fact, right, Ariella? We've had the joy of being able to slap some cash in those palms for you guys at the end of a week well done. And it's not possible this year, okay? Um, and so they will be paid monthly and they are on a one month delay. And again, direct deposit. If you want a direct deposit form, please reach out to me, okay? Special events. So normally the special events slide is full of special events, but this year it's not, and I'm sorry, and I wish it was. So the special events that we have planned is we are gonna do a virtual jamboree, which will be interesting. You guys will all get for you students a special link to allow you to attend our virtual jamboree on July 16th. And then the end of the year symposium and award ceremony will be on July 24th, and that will be virtual as well. And then if, as we, if we can think of something else special to schedule, like maybe a movie night or something like that, you guys will know about that on your weekly schedules. Myth or fact, outside guests are allowed at the Jamboree. Myth. Myth. Jen? Who just answered that? It was Tim, I think, or Kayla from Tim's phone, or I don't okay. know, that Tim? Tim's phone. So only UB students from Vermont, New York, and New Hampshire will have access to the viral jamboree. Now the jamboree is family appropriate, okay? So if you're watching the jamboree and your little sibling comes in the room or your parents, that's okay, all right? They can still see what's happening. It's just a kind of a virtual party and it's very appropriate and family friendly. So you're the only one that will get the link, but it's okay if others see. Um, this still applies guys. So during, you know, when we're residential, we really talk about these, these type things, but it's still important that while you're at home and while you're focused on your upward bound summer and other responsibilities and even having some fun, that we know that you are not under the influence or in possession of drugs or alcohol while in upward bound. And that upward bound is a privilege and suspicion alone can result in suspension or dismissal, okay? Social media, same thing, guys. 
I think we've come a long way as a society with social media. You guys really, it's need to be appropriate because inappropriate use of social media to promote self-harm, harm to others, sexting, or any other improper posting that we find out about, we will investigate, okay? Upper bound is a privilege. Remember that. Here's our contact information. I know most of you students have all this information ready right at your thumb, and I love it. But if anybody doesn't for some reason, here they are again. Obviously, we are not in our office, okay? We are probably, maybe we might be in our offices by the time you guys are doing this. Maybe we'll be in our home offices doing this. But these are cell phone numbers are the best way to reach us if you need us, okay? And Rachel will give hers out when she's comfortable doing that. Full value. So I don't know if you guys remember full value. We talk about it kind of at the beginning of the year. We really talk about it summer when we're together, but full value is val when we value others and we value ourselves, then others will see our value. And when we see our value, we value ourselves. So it's a full circle, okay, of respect. Okay, a full circle of respect. Now more than ever, you guys, with everything going on, it's really important that we practice full value, that we respect each other, okay? Myth or fact, full value as a behavior comes naturally. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? No. <laughs> me? <laughs> Who's me? Iris. Iris. <laughs> so go ahead, Jen, is it a myth or a fact? Right. It is a myth sometimes and it's a fact sometimes, right? Sometimes when we're really comfortable with our group and we've developed community, it's so easy to be full value. We really like each other. We enjoy being around each other. It's easy. But sometimes when we meet new people or we're in new groups and we're unsure of who people are, it might be a little harder to be full value, okay? So that's our job is to remind you and help you identify times when maybe you weren't being full value and just kind of remind you that you need to you know, you need to really be respectful and positive with Upward Bound. Schedules. So this again is really important, you guys. That um, online resources, which was I think the second one down in Jen's grouping, that is where we will house all communication about events for the week. They will be in the calendar, an online classroom. And we will go over this during orientation week and show you exactly where it is and where you can find everything, okay? And your teachers will also post things in their Google Classroom, okay? Students are now allowed to smoke or vape during the Upward Bound Summer Program. Not good for you. All policies are, and procedures are in place to ensure an enjoyable and safe summer for everybody. And um, when we do get the handbook to you, <clears throat> you can enjoy reading it and, and asking questions if you need to. Oops, go back one. There you go. Oh, that was the first disciplinary. All right, second disciplinary continued. So uh, in offenses that may result in immediate suspension or dismissal is obviously social media, inappropriate use, drugs and alcohol, verbal or physical acts uh, or threats of violence to self or others, inappropriate sexual conduct, tampering with safety equipment. We don't worry about that. Just don't do it at home either. Still not good to tamper with your safety equipment. Possession of weapons of any kind, violate, violation of any local, state, or federal laws. Okay, staying in touch, the Remind app. I noticed that some people said that the Remind app page that we had for parents was not real visible. If you need that information, please just reach out. We can get it to you pretty quickly through, your, through a text message or an email. We can do that for you. We definitely have Facebook and we try to keep that updated all summer. Um, Twitter we have and Instagram we have as well. And, and Snapchat. And Snapchat. Oh, oh Snapchat. and Snapchat. We, we start with that. Snapchat. You have Snapchat. Really so happy. I also I want to say that if you send us a message on Facebook, we may not see it for weeks. So yeah. if you have a question, it's better to text us or email us directly, Julie or me, Rachel Adnan, because um, I don't often check those notifications when well, I'm not on our Facebook page every day. Yep. Not a problem. 
All right, myth or fact, the summer program provides you with academic support, kind of fun activities. I know they're online, but we'll make them as fun as we can, and friends for life. Fact. Fact. Hey, good job, Grace. What's it? Let's get started on a summer like no other, huh, you guys? I'm so tempted to do some kind of 2020 with toilet paper. I know that sounds weird, but I see it everywhere. Those zeros are just toilet paper, but I don't know. <laughs> we're going to figure that one out. It's going to be a crazy summer. All right, so we're going to open it up now to questions. So if you have a question, just unmute or raise or your put it in the chat. Or put it in the chat. Yep, chat we can answer too. Hi, I'm Kira Van Deem's mom, Amanda. I just wanted to ask a question. If um, now that you're doing the virtual learning, if Kira has access to Wi-Fi, can she travel during the time frame that you guys are doing the summer lessons as long as she obtain maintains her um, participation? Absolutely. I might even travel. That is a perk. I'm not gonna lie, right? That's a perk of this. Like. We love to see you guys, but I, I get it. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I might be in New Hampshire <laughs> instead of Vermont. Who knows? Visiting family. So, yes. I might be in Maine, so we're all going to be traveling. That's right. <laughs> that looks travel book. Book. Not this girl. <laughs> Not this girl. This girl's staying right here in Castleton if you need me. Right okay. here. Good. And then I, I apologize. I have a second part. No, please. Um, how do I get you guys the direct deposit information? I'm going to set Kira a bank account, set up a bank account for Kira this weekend. And is that something that she would have to then reach out to, um, who is it? I have Rachel's phone. Rachel, right would she reach out to Rachel and get that information or? That's fine. So I would have to send you a PDF because you, it has to have a student signature on it. So it's not like I can fill it out for you, you know what I mean, and then submit it. So I would have to get you a PDF that you'd have to print, or I could send you one in a mail in the mail with a return um, address envelope. Could we post it to online resources too? It is already posted to online resources. Okay. So, but I can move it to the top, like I can just yep. keep pushing it, and I can put it in all the, the classrooms for each thing too. So um, you'd have to download it. Print, you'd have to print it, download it, print it, fill it out, and then either mail it back to us or or i don't know if you guys know this but yourself if your cell phone's an iphone 8 or higher you can scan with your cell phone right to your email under the notes app so could she scan the printed copy of the direct deposit form that our bank provides to you guys that way I believe they have to fill out the form, but I can ch I can email our benefits person in the morning um, and uh, the payroll person and ask that. But I know banks print out um, print out like a direct deposit form that you can give to your work sometimes to get direct deposit. But I'm not I'm not sure about that. I can I can ask for you though. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yep. Great question. We want to get as many people on direct deposit as we can because you'll just you'll get your money faster. Yep. Anybody else have a question? Did we just explain everything so well that you guys don't have questions? Hi, I have a quick question about the student online resources. I've been looking I don't know exactly where they're located. Is it under Google Classroom? Okay, so I ran into this problem with a student the other day. So students, when you log in to your school email, which has a Google account attached to it, you cannot log in to our classrooms and you can't even join them. They block you. You have to access our classrooms by a different Gmail than your school Gmail. So either your CUUB email would be preferable, but if you have your own Gmail, once you're in your Gmail and looking at your Gmail, up in the left-hand corner is that little box of dots. Okay. If you click on that, there's a classroom app. That's what you click on and then find the join a classroom to add that code but you cannot be logged into your Chromebook with your school Gmail 
and access our email, our Google Classrooms. I don't know if that makes sense, but that happens sometimes. They're automatically in their Chromebook and it's like their school email and they cannot join our classrooms with that on, with that. Okay. Okay. It okay. sometimes helps to try a different browser. Okay. And if that's not working, then you might have to try a different device, but logging out and logging into the gotcha. CUUP email is the best. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Yep, you're yes. welcome. Hey, other questions? That was a good question because that happened to me the other day with a student. Good. How late into August are things going? Good question. So my la the last thing in August that you have, you have two assignments in August. One of them is a virtual round table and that's on August 4th. Tuesday, August 4th is the last round table, the humanities round table, which is going to be a really fun one. I found some really cool professionals. Anyways, that's the humanities one. And then there will be one assignment in virtual job shadow that you need to complete as well. So as long as you, whenever that, they'll all be assigned at the beginning of the summer. So it's up, you can go through your work study at your pace. If you want to, except for attending the round tables, every other one is kind of at your own pace. All right, so as long as it's the ones all the way through June are finished by the end of June, the ones in July, end of July, and the ones in August, by August, I'll put a due date on them of August 14th. We said 15th, 14th, 15th, yeah. Well, 15th is a Saturday. I was being yeah. right around in there, then you should be good. Round tables, good question, Iris. A round table is where I'm going to have invite three professionals to be on Zoom. And they're going to share their story and give you the opportunity to interact with them about their profession and about what they do and kind of be able to talk with them and hear from them about what it is. So it's called a round table because in reality, it'd be really nice if we were all sitting at a round table having a conversation. But unfortunately, we need to do it through Zoom. So it's a round table conversation through Zoom. All right, now I'm going to back up. There was a, a question about mentors. I'm going to get to that in a second. But first, I want to say, why are we doing stuff in August? Because normally we don't go into August. We're doing an August assignment because we want to pay you another $300 in August. If you don't have a work study assignment in August, we can't give you $300 for August. Um, that's the, the federal government's rules. And so if you complete it in July, your August assignments, good for you, you're done. You don't have to do them in August other than the round table which is scheduled for August. Um, so that's kind of why we did it. If you don't want an extra $300 for August, don't come to the round table in August and don't do the August assignment. We won't pay you the extra $300. That's up to you. But we wanted and I to- will, go ahead. I just, we wanted to give students the opportunity to earn as much of our federal stipend dollars as possible. Um, also, um, should the Department of Education in Washington, D.C. up our limits, because right now we are limited to $300, but there is talk in Washington, D.C. to allow us to raise that money even more, um, and especially because we're not paying for housing in, on campus anymore. Um, if we can give you more money, we will, and we'll let you know. Yep. There's talk of perhaps $1,200 a month. So I can't guarantee that right now, but I mean, there, there's a lot of talk in DC going on because we're not having residential programs. How can we help students and families and money is the big, the big thing that people are talking about. Yep. So stay and, look, and stay, stay on the assignments because if it's $1,200 a month, you want that. <laughs> and if they make that decision in July and I've already paid you for June, I can pay you again for June, right? It can be retroactive. So keep on top of your stuff because as soon as I find out anything, I will make the request. Okay. All right. The second question was about mentors. Like, will you be signed yeah. a mentor? So Julie, you want to tell them about that because you were arranging that. Yep. Yep. So that's going to be during orientation week. You'll find out who your mentor is and you'll find out kind of how, how it all lines up so that you know kind of who you're with. But you will find out your mentor family during orientation week. So, yep. 
So I, Izzy's, Izzy's question or Izzy's question is extremely important. It is not our goal to stress you out. It is not our goal to be, to make you overwhelmed. It is our goal to give you whatever we can to give you some experiences and some thinking about your future and some support for next school year. And some That's, money. And some money, right? But we, our goal is not to stress you out. So in my mind, when I'm making up like the work study lesson plans, I'm thinking three hours a week max on work study. If that, okay? Because I'm thinking as it's spread out, it might even be less, okay? Your classes, I'm assuming are gonna might be a little similar, about maybe two hours, three hours a week at the most. And those are your two responsibilities. So that's kind of what we're looking at. We're not trying. And if you are stressed out, that's what your mentor is gonna be for, is to help you out. It might be a time management issue. It might be something going on with your family you need to share that we can support you with. It might be communication. So there could be a lot of reasons. That's what they're there for. And we are going to schedule fun activities. I know Adnan's um, getting some ideas going. Um, so we will have a few nights a week, just a fun activity. We, we talked about um, Adnan was going to do you versus wild. Um, I have a pub quiz all ready to go. Uh, and, uh, award prizes for for people who are interested in pub quiz we hope maybe music you know all the students who are pictionary or Alice said pictionary definitely pictionary um if you're a musician we hope to have a like an upper bound jam session maybe so if you have ideas um for fun events too maybe you guys already been doing stuff like in your group of friends like online together let us know where our mentors and uh, rachel and adnan are going to be um, and our peer mentors are going to be planning some fun things to do. Plus, we have a book reading, so I should mention that. Um, I also, we also have a surprise for you coming. Everybody's going to get a care package from us um, probably sometime next week with some fun things, with some school supplies, um, but with our book, um, which is we're all going to read together. Um, and a couple times a week, we're going to have a little book club meeting that you can pop in and you can talk about the book. Um, and then at the end of the summer, we're going to have a watch party because the book has been turned into a movie. Um, so Kira had a good idea. Did you see Kira's? I'm Are just typing here. Great idea, Kira. Right? I just have to see. I'm like, that's a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what we're looking for, Kiara, is those type things. And that would be the perfect thing. Like when you're with your mentor family, talk to your mentor, tell you like, I like to do this. Maybe our mentor family can be the ones that's going to present this and and decide to hold this event during the week. Like that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. We will support you, set up a Zoom, do whatever we can to make you guys, you know, to, to do whatever you guys wanna to do to be together and have some fun this summer. Yep, guys, saw Kahoot. We talked about Kahoot. Um, yep. with, you know, normally you guys get to do a poster at the end of the summer um, to, you know, show your work. Um, you know, maybe you guys still want to do that, but you want to uh, do a three minute video or you want to do some slam poetry to talk about the, you know, your summer, pro your project or, you know, so, you know, if you, that's something you still want to do, you still want to do some kind of culminating event or project. Um, great. We'll, we'll make it happen for you. We'll, we'll zoom and we can all, you know, listen to your slam poetry. <laughs> Jen just said kazoom. You Zoom. I just did that and Zoom. Zoom together. I don't know what it is yet, but it's going to be, it's going to make me rich. <laughs> yeah, <'cause Zoom. laughs> that was great. All right, you guys, great questions and great thoughts. Do we get yes. to keep the book? Ariella, you get to keep that book. Yes, it's your book. It's lovely. Um, yes, online talent show. Love it. Yeah. Actually, I'll tell you what one of the other things in, in your um, care package, which is coming, which I've been using and I love it, is one of these. Do you guys know what this is? I don't know if you guys do. It is a um, reusable notebook. So um, you can write things down, you can jot things down, and then you take a picture of it with an app on your phone, and then it goes and files it digitally somewhere wherever you want it to be filed. Um, and then yours, mine we can't, but yours, you just put it in the microwave, 
and it erases all the pages and you start new. Get out of Dodge. That's a new feature. Yeah, theirs is theirs oh. microwaved. So Julie, wow. the old one, and we have to wipe it down with water. Yeah. But yours, wow. when you're when you're ready to erase it and use it again, you just put it in the microwave. It tells you how many seconds and. And you can set it up to go to. So you can set up to go to yeah. Docs. Google Docs. So then you can just go to the Docs, click on it, and send your assignment to your teacher. And you don't have to upload anything or anything like that. You just have to use the special pen. Don't do like Jen did and use a regular pen by mistake because then you can't use that page ever again. <laughs> I did it once, I learned. <laughs> wow, the microwave. So we'll send you the, the, you get the pens too. You'll get a couple pens. Yeah, that blew my, that blew my brain. That was great. Yeah, it's, you know, it saves paper. Maybe it's the yeah. note taking, you know, the, of the future. Yeah. Yep, very cool. All right. Ariella. Ariella, do you like office supplies and school supplies? You're like yaying me all over the place in there. <laughs> office supplies is my favorite thing to shop for, so I'm with her. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys all know, but Rachel graduated from college. So, yes. thank you. No. I think we don't. <laughs> and we actually thought about getting her a Staples gift card. <laughs> we went another direction, but there was a discussion like that is awesome. Like, or was she like a Staples gift card? <laughs> that is awesome. Congratulations, Rachel. We're so excited. Thank you. <laughs> so as you all know, everybody kind of processes things differently and listens to things differently. If after this presentation you have a question of any kind that you need asked or you think of something a week week later and you know are questioning please just reach out and ask you guys we want to make this as smooth and as fun and as possible and allow you guys to earn some money and kind of you know learn some things maybe about yourself get ready for next school year and uh and get through the summer so please 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 reach out if you have any questions yep and um ho hopefully in the fall we'll be able to come to your schools and meet with you um we don't know if schools are going to let us do that. So we might be seeing you in the fall on Zoom. So be kind of thinking about that. Um, this can be a trial run for it. Uh, so Alan, no, everybody, no. You're in a yes. college class. You only have that class because that is more intense than the UB classes. That yeah, is, and it's only have that class, but you do have work study. You do have work study still. So you do have that maybe at the most three hours a week of work study. Yep. To earn money. Yep, and they'll they might be working on their college uh, blueprint too. Yep. So there may there may be those three priorities. That's it. Yep. Yep. The college course. The reason we only give you the one college course because it is intense, but it also it's a grade, and it's on your transcript, and it will go to whatever college you end up going to. So it's really important that you get an A or a B in it. So if you're nervous about the college, I'll give you a quick example so you can kind of get an idea of what you might be up for. So my son Patrick's in one right now, a four-week call, online college course from UVM. He gets an assignment at 8 a.m. on Monday morning, and it's due 8 a.m. Tuesday morning. So he has that whole time to do it. He usually has to read something, and then he has to blog about it or make a comment about it, a certain number amount of words that he has to put, post, and then people in his class comment on his, what he says. And then the next day he does the same thing. They all read something and then he's the commenter on somebody else's blog and he has to comment. And the comments are the participation. That's what they see to make sure that you're doing. And then he writes a paper uh, every two weeks. So that's kind of an idea of how a freshman level kind of college course might feel. And so it's asynchronous, so you don't have to be on. So you're gonna have an assignment time and a due date time. And it's really paying attention to that. Sometimes it's midnight to midnight. Sometimes it's 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. You're just gonna have to pay attention to that. Yeah, and I've, I've been taking online classes for the last year. And some of my classes would open on Sunday and it would just have all the assignments and readings. And I, as long as I got them done by the next Sunday, I was fine. But some of them I had different like assignments that were due like, Tuesday night, the next one Thursday night, I had to post by Wednesday. So some teachers might be very structured with that and some might just give you all the assignments and just have the whole week to do them. I will mention if you're taking the statistics course, 
Brandon Bailey will be available for Zoom tutoring and we'll let you know that'll be on that schedule um, so that you have that support for statistics. Um, all of you who are taking statistics too, we, um, you, there is a computer program that I had to purchase for you that you will need to take the class um, and it will not work on a Chromebook. It has to be loaded onto a com real computer or a laptop. So if you don't have that, you need to email me right away because we can give you a loaner laptop. So if you're, there's a, there's a handful, 10, about 10 students who are signed up for statistics. So make sure you get a hold of me so that I can get you um, what you need for stats. And that starts June 29th, all of our classes. Yep. There's a book too, which we'll send to you. Hi, this is Grace. Grace's mom, Julie. Hi, Hi Julie. Hi, how do you, how do the kids know which classes they're signed up for? Good question. So Marissa, God bless her, just input every single student's, all their classes into a database so that we can run a report. Um, I am going to look through them and Adnan and Rachel are looking through them um, to make sure that everything looks good and then it will be emailed to your student as a PDF, their schedule of what classes they're assigned. That'll be early next week. Thank you. Great question. Thank you. Yep, great question. Put that in the PowerPoint. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, Kayla. So unfortunately, we couldn't do the special um, rising senior week that we normally do every year. So Jen will be working with those students throughout the summer to get their common app done and kind of do some of those activities throughout the summer. So, so just stay away for that, but it's not going to be anything as intense as it would have been if we were in person and on campus. No, most, um, we're going to get started with some of it during online week or yeah orientation week just so you know uh, we'll go through uh, there'll be like a, a senior meeting and i'll go over like what what are the things that you can get started with this summer yep yeah. and then as you know guys as soon as i mean even before school hits no matter when school hits this year or how it hits we will be communicating with you about what you need to do to be prepared and be ahead of your classmates to be ready to hit that apply button for college. So just know that we'll be working with you and, and reaching out and still, still getting you ready for that for your senior year. All right. Any other questions before we wrap things up? Now's the time, or you can always email us. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, thank you all for coming and being here. Tried to keep it under an hour, I think we did it. Um, if you have a question though, you can text it to us. Uh, email though does work better for me. Um, yep. Sometimes I get a lot of texts and I miss it, so, um, but my email is pretty much tied to me. Um, so that's the best way to reach me and that's jennifer.jones at castleton.edu if you don't know that already but it's on our castleton website too you can always email me from there and um yeah let us know if we forgot anything or if you have any ideas to make this summer pretty awesome even though we're gonna be online the jamboree will be really fun we hired a really awesome person to to entertain you and educate you yeah, yeah it's not us jen and i dancing and doing the jamboree walk, walk, walk. Mm -hmm. hired somebody for that <laughs> <laughs> all right all right guys bye, bye. have a great have a, have a great weekend i hope everybody gets some relaxing in no looking at the camera get some time off bye yeah take yeah your bye. eyes need a rest your eyes need a rest yep. yep you need to get off those video games too where's jacob <laughs> jacob i'm talking to you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I get it, mister. I get it. I see that smile. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, Luke.
Jacob, I like your hair. Oh, he left. Did you see his wow. hair? Like, I know. All the way down to his chin. I Woo! like how he flips it. <laughs> I know. There goes Landon. Bye, Landon.